What's up guys, Drake here. A quick introduction on what I'm doing, who I am and why am I on this channel right now talking to you guys. Well, it started a long time ago. We used to make YouTube videos and I got to know George, Big C and the rest of the crew in the wow days. We used to make World of Warcraft videos in those days and we had a lot of fun doing it. We all fell in love with making YouTube videos. At the same time, we then progressed and had uh, TGN, where we carry on making more and more mad videos, constantly thriving to make better ones, constantly well, making madness, some were good, some were bad, but we had a lot of fun making every single one of them. And then of course, George decided to left TGN. After that, I remained on to TGN with the rest of the gents, and then slowly, slowly, more and more of us were like falling off, you know, getting out of TGN. And eventually I decided well, it was time for me to resign from TGN. No disrespect to the gents, everybody there was good. They all treated us very well. But I still wanted to come make a noise with George and go back to the old days where we had that madness, that spark of just creating and just, you know, just doing whatever, you know, just being creative and um, experimenting, taking chances. And well, that's what we're doing here. Right, why am I talking to you guys? Well, the whole reason behind what we do is we help George with a lot of edits and that kind of thing. And we'd like to bring that information to you guys. And at the same time, once a week, show you guys what we did, what projects we worked on, and some cool of, you know, things we actually did in some of them. So maybe you guys can incorporate them into your projects. So right guys, what we're going to do now is run through the projects we did last week. At the same time, if there's anything in any of those projects that you guys would like to know how we did or how to do, leave it in the comments below and we will make an episode and show you guys how to take care of that in uh, one of the next future episodes of, of course, Behind the Scenes. So this was the first set. We had a designer set for George and of course we had a, in an ingenious way to actually make it function as the back wall, which was actually supposed to be a window to function as a screen. At the same time, there was a couple of cool effects and everything else we had to bring into this one here, which George had requested. And um, right, so that was the first show. It kind of worked out okay. The next one, the music copyright claim video, again with George. And once again, it was a cool edit. Um, once again, standard assets. We did a couple of revisions to the set, changed the table a bit and the desk a bit because George wanted it a bit different there. And uh, slight modifications to the assets. Again, the picture, the PMP was actually on the back window behind the screen, which is something that no one else has ever, ever, ever done. Well, I don't think we'll ever try doing, but that's what we're doing. It does create a lot of problems with cropping and resolution. But once again, um, this one was taken care of. The next one. The next one was a teaser video, which was George's idea to make a teaser video. Over here, we had a cool effect where we had gotten a, you know, George had showed me his cell phone on the green screen, and we thought, you know what, it'll be cool to actually green screen the phone out. It was, it was not hard to do, and um, once again, we green screened the phone as best as we could with the resolution of the footage we had, and of course, we overlaid uh, a mask, an animated mask underneath it, just to show the blue color, which was actually becoming transparent once you green screen. Screened it. So this one was taken care of. Um, nice work, George. And yeah, the next one. The next one was the sixth production that was taken care of as well, where George came up with a genius, you know, shows you guys exactly how to do all those tips and everything else. Once again, we used almost the same assets we had used for the teaser, and of course, just a much more longer production with a much more thorough presentation of everything that was going on in that video. The next one. Right, the next one now was a whole new set we designed. Once again, it was a whole new idea behind this one here. And that was to have a PNP in the set. And once again, I've got to give a good shout out to Big C Buddy because I watched one of his videos. I watched one of his videos and I saw, you know, he showed us exactly how to do this kind of, um, this where you actually writing little animation. And I strongly recommend you guys watch that video. You know what? I used it. And I've used it in a lot of videos since. Very easy to use, very convenient. Shout out to Big C. Well done, buddy. Thanks for showing that to us. And yeah, I actually learned something new there. And uh, once again, for the, the, the speed, guys, you gotta remember these productions will be done very, very fast. And um, 
Right, so that, that tool helps out uh, very much. At the same time, we redesigned the set. We actually added a backdrop and took away the screen from there and added a PNP, which was a normal 16 by 9 resolution, which was a lot more easy to be able to actually do our effects on or to be able to transition in and out of a scene. So this definitely simplified the edits quite a bit. Although in this one over here, I don't know if you guys noticed, I left out the green leaf from the desk. Um, so yeah, we, we redid the set again um, in the next one. But once again, great presentation, George, and a great video. And Big C, thanks, a big shout out for helping us out. Well, showing us exactly how to do this kind of effect in that amount of time. Normally, this would take a very long time in After Effects to actually get something like this happening too. Right, guys, the next one was a bit of a funny one. You know, we came up with an idea of bringing in these dragons here. We had some green, um, green screen footage of Psy. We had made an animated logo, which we actually designed for more... Um, for other stuff but um we thought why the hell not throw in there and we had psi and we had dinosaurs coming in and flames and that kind of thing right 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 i, I agree over the top and um but we had a lot of fun doing it you know and we were talking about it and we thought why not why not do it so yeah a bit over the top definitely so we definitely but it was a lot of fun doing it as well the dragons were here Psy was there and um, i think right at the end we had a dragon eating george at the, uh, you know right at the end as well at the same time the set was a uh, slightly redesigned again oh yeah and we've got this little minion running in and out as well the flower was back the, the desk was remade again so the desk is now more visually different to the rest of the set and of course we still got the couch with the logo on it and of course the backdrop with the grills or the grids that were supposed to be the window so this one was taken care of the next one the next one was a straightforward edit and this one here was by far the most comfortable edit where we had the pnp we animated the pnp in and out i think the set remained the same this time so there wasn't much to do on the set so basically just the show itself which was the cool show george's 37 million youtube channels um in heartbeat so once again this was taken care of once again shout out to big c for letting us showing us exactly how to do this kind of um pmp hand drawing kind of thing choreography here whatever you call it very nice and um yeah show worked out okay so that was taken care of the next one of course was a shout out video and that was just a quick presentation to show the gents when george was going M onto his ama to be able to do his production and uh, answer all the questions that gents had to do and um that was a brilliant session and you guys had a lot of fun there that was very well done as well and um right so that was taken care of right now lastly but not least we had a video by shoe nice as well um this one over here was a very complicated one you know we thought what can we do with this green screen footage the gentleman um records i think 420p and uh, he doesn't use you know he records basically in a very yellow room and uh, well we thought you know what is it possible to actually green screen this character you know in this kind of thing and we tried it out it was very complicated to do um and yet we had a lot of fun doing it you know and we thought you know what you know he's got such a cool persona and talks in such a manner let's put him in an old tv and um make it sound as if he's talking out of an old tv kind of thing and um right well that was taken care of again it was a cool little video enjoyed it and um yeah had a lot of fun working on it right guys and that brings us to the end of the projects we actually worked on this week and um, the things we created at the same time of course this set over here was created as well now this one over here has is a total different style of set it's got the front desk as you guys can see at the same time you can paint straight across and have the pmp right there and talk you could actually use this on live at the same time you can go into full screen mode and to be able to actually show the screen again you're in the set but now you're actually presenting the screen itself and once again back to this kind of view here uh, while well, i'm doing this real time in xsplit while we're actually chatting to you gents so right guys in the future we'd like to be able to show you guys exactly how we do this stuff and what certain stuff in the videos you know if you guys would like to know anything about anything we created let us know at the same time i'm going to start recording my edits and recording a lot of things we actually do in those videos so i'll be able to bring these to you guys as well if you're interested to show you guys how to do it as always this was drek hope you guys enjoyed see you guys soon have an epic day and um all right guys, over now.
click the first video for a fireside chat with George where he shares our future and how he grew from $20,000 to $120,000 in just one month. And click the second video to see how to monetize all of your videos with just a few clicks to enable all ad formats and monetize in all countries. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. So grow with us and partner with Freedom. That Play Now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started. Your secrets, if you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids.